Welcome back to ASA Pub News. I tell you what, I have somebody great that's here today. She's from the Ukraine. Uh, um, she's here in Michigan now. She's one of our authors, actually, on ASA Publishing Company. She's dynamic. Um, um, we're going to talk a little something about her, answer some questions about her personal life, which she doesn't mind. Ooh, she doesn't mind, does she? That's right. No, no, she doesn't mind at all. Oh, thank you. There, there we go. But we're okay with it because why? Her husband's here, too. Husband Kurt. Yes. Yes, you got a husband here, Kurt Conrad. Okay. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's, let's get the show started. There she is. There she is, people. There she is. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. To begin, I'd like to say it is an honor to be your guest tonight. Thank you, Thank you. for Thank allowing you. me to appear and talk about my book, Love and Mystery. I truly feel blessed that I have found ASA Publishing Company. Oh. I'd like also to express my thanks to everybody who helped make this dream come true. It's my husband in particular, Kurt Conrad. Yes, Kurt, come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Yes, yes, come on my up here. My son in Ukraine, Vlad, and all my friends and family in Ukraine and in America. And, and ASA Publishing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I love these two. They're awesome. <laughs> and I tell you what, we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back. Oh, Tatiana, you, you know, uh, you, you're awesome also. You are awesome. Thank you. Um, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm, now we're going to get into to your private world, that you, uh, uh, which I am glad that you're going to share with the rest of us, the rest of all of us. Uh, um, Thank you. Uh, about, you know, the, the Eastern Europe. So let me, let me start <laughs> with that. What part of Eastern Europe are you from? I was born in Sochi, Russia, but raised in Ukraine. And all my immediate family is still now in Ukraine and Russia. Well, tell us about your immediate family. I have a mother, Henrietta, who is 82. She lives in Ukraine. 
But my father, Grigori, passed away six years ago. He would be very proud if he knew that I wrote a book. Well, I'm sure. I have a son, Vlad, who is 34. He is married. His wife's name is Inga. He has a daughter, Nika, who is two years, eight months old. Wow. I have a sister, Valeria, who lives in Kyiv, Ukraine, and uh, she is a sociologist. And I have a brother, Oleg, who lives in St. Petersburg, Russia. Mm -hmm. He owns a small business. Excellent, excellent, yeah. excellent. <laughs> and, you know, uh, where do you go to school? And, and, you know, for how long? I went to grade school and university in Ukraine for 17 years, where I studied computer programming, and also I studied philosophy and psychology in Ukraine and business in Moscow. Wow. What, what type of business? Uh, administration. Excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> Seems like I'm always trying to get stuck in administration somehow, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Studying over the paddle. You know it. Hey, um, what gave, you know what? Well, uh, let me type, the title of your book is, again? My book, Love and Mystery. My book is Love, Love and Mystery. Mystery. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what, what, what gave you the idea of the book? I happened to be on a beach of a lake in northern Michigan during July 2010. Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful weather, warm and sunny. I was very enjoyed and very relaxed. And I had a daydream about two artists who fell in love with each other. I began to see paintings and heard beautiful music. And just the entire story just ran in front of my eyes. When I returned back to home, I began yeah. writing like I was in a trance. Yes. My husband, Kurt, he is in studio now. <laughs> <laughs> he helped me reward and organize this book. And I won't tell him, thank you very much for this. Wow. I put many of my thoughts, feelings, and emotions in this book because I wanted to share my knowledge, experience, and my way of thinking with the world. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You, you know, you said you were uh, uh, from a dream, huh? From a dream. It is just happened. Wow, wow. wow. You know, uh, um, it's that, that certain type of way of thinking. How, how did you how did you do that? How, how did you, you know, in in you know that way that you transport? What is that way of thinking for you? That's you know artistic. Uh, 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 let it artistic far as I know everybody <laughs> thinking artistic. You know, far far as those you know uh, uh, like so I did have disabilities, but hey, I had some deans dishonors anyway. But who <laughs> says that? Anyway, uh, um, for, for as being an artist as well, okay, it's what I've meant, is being an artist. You know, uh, uh, when you dream, you dream, you have visions, uh, 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 the characteristics, the ideals, the concepts. And, and this is what I was looking at. So when I say, what is your way of thinking, you know, uh, uh, um, you know how, getting people to understand themselves? I believe that mostly questions could be answered if people understood themselves and everybody and everything around them. You can say, I believe in philosophy of understanding. Excellent, excellent. Uh, um, do me a favor, t tell me a little bit more about your book. Just a little bit more. Uh, don't give away the secret. But, My you know. book, uh, Love and Mystery, Yes. it is book about the love between two artists who fell in love with each other. And then that's what's getting, the, the two artists, okay, the... A young female mm -hmm. abstractionist artist and a young singer and songwriter have visions of each other. So it's a, a, a young singer and, and uh, songwriter. Yeah, and uh, she saw his face in visions and heard beautiful music. 
Excellent. He saw beautiful young woman in his visions and paintings behind here. They could not meet for a long time. And uh, she happened to see him at a music festival. And he saw her on television news. And when they met, they fell, loving, uh, they fell in love with each other. And they realized that they, in true love, and their creative energy depends on each other. You know, it's interesting because I was going to say, I was going to say that to, uh, 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 why would people enjoy reading the book? The idea is unique. Love through art. It captures one's interest immediately and mm -hmm. throughout all book. And uh, it is somewhat extraordinary and fantastic. The mystery that the both central characters have visions of each other. Their creative energy depends on these visions, and they met in real life. Love is mystery in itself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, um, there you go. There you go. That's right. That's right. That's right. It does relate to musical. Yes. Yes. It's yes. Related music, art. Yes. You, you know what? Uh, um, maybe I shouldn't ask this, but do you have? A, is there a plot in it? In, in this type of romance, is you have plots? You know. Twists and turns in it? Yes, plot is that uh, I told right now about young female artist, abstractionist, and young male singer songwriter. <laughs> she she never gave us the whole thing. You know yeah. that, right? Right, right, people? She's, and you know, uh, awesome. Why? Awesome. Why awesome. Awesome. I title Love at Mystery? Because the book about the story, love between two artists, Nicole and Mike. They have visions of each other. And uh, their love begins from these visions. And their yes. creativity from these visions. And uh, their innermost beings are connected with each other. It was true love. And the mystery that they have visions of each other. It's a mystery. And the, their creative energy depends on each other. And that they met in real love. <laughs> and yes. and um, I put many of my thoughts, feelings, and emotions in this book. And I believe that people of all ages and different level of knowledge will enjoy reading it because everyone can find something that they are able to identify with. I put also a lot of my energy on this book. And those who will read it will get some from it. Perhaps it will help people better understand themselves and their surroundings. It could create new ideas and thoughts in their mind. In my book, there are a lot of events, parties, music, art, and philosophical conversations throughout the book. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you know what? Uh, uh, um, we're going to talk again, but you, we'll be right back af after these messages. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, book trailers. <laughs>